what's going on everybody welcome back to my channel so a lot of you have been asking me what is the best time to trade and i thought the best way to illustrate this to you or my answer to that question is to go through four trading opportunities now the reason i'm going to do this is because the illustration that i want to point out may not give you the answer that you're looking for specifically and unfortunately what a lot of traders are looking for is for the perfect answer but the illustration itself will really help you to see things in a different light and will really, really elevate your trade into the next levels. It's something that I was stuck on for a very long period of time, trying to figure out if waking up at 8 a.m. in the morning for the London Open was the best time and then figuring out if the crossover with London Open and New York Open, sorry, London Session and New York Open was the best time because there's more volatility, X, Y, and Z. And then I also thought, well, what about the Asian Session? Would it be good to trade UJ? And I just went through these thoughts all of the time and uh, tell you what, it held me back. Now, I just want to illustrate this to you and I hope you will find this useful. So let's take a look at this. We're going to use pound USD as an example. Um, I really like this pair alongside Euro USD. What I'm looking at here now in the structure of the market is a uptrend that has been broken. Now, the way I see the market structure is if we've broken a trend line, we make a double top or we make a lower high, we're expecting to make that lower low. As you can clearly see on this structure, we never did. So the way I'm seeing the market now is a structural low and higher low. This doesn't mean that I'm buy bias as of yet. What I'm looking for the market to do is break above the previous structure highs and close, indicating that continued bullish pressure in the market. So once we've got these lines drawn in, let's get this one straight because it annoys me. Well, we're not going to get it straight for this one, but there you go. Something like that will do. So I'm going to be waiting for price to break above this structure, close strong and illustrate to me that there's still strong bullish pressure in the market. Now I can see this strong bullish pressure in the market. So what I'm going to be waiting for, well, I'm simply going to be waiting for the market to retest this level. So I need price action to leave this level for a period of time come back to this level and then illustrate that it's a strong level in the market to look for buying opportunities when the time is right. So as you can see now, the market did come back to this level. We do have a nice retest of this previous structure. So a break above level created, and now we have a retest. But by the looks of it, the market has left me, but that doesn't mean that I've missed the trade. It just means I didn't take the trade. So I can see now the structure has been broken. We have strong bullish pressure in the market. I understand that the overall structure of the market is to the upside. So I'm just going to be looking for buying opportunities. Well, that flew up. Let's continue to see what happens. So now the market is now creating structure. What I'm going to be looking for here, I'm going to be looking for higher low formations to be looking for buying opportunities. So now we have a nice push phase structure in the market, pullback, higher low, level created. If it gives me one more wick rejection or a strong bullish candle, then we'll go in for this buy. So now we have that information, wick rejection, higher low formation, bullish pressure, break above structure, so let's go in for the kill. So we're going with an instant execution, stop loss below structure. And this doesn't need to be perfect because the illustration is to help you all identify when the best times to trade are going to be. So we'll go for our one to three risk reward ratio as we always do. And once we get this in, we'll play out the trade. So we've looked at the consensus of the higher time frame, which is bullish and uptrend, break of structure high. Bullish momentum, high low formation based on structure, and we're expecting a higher high now in this market. So let's play this out. We hit that trade pretty nicely. So a very quick win on the 15 minute time frame, just scaling down using one time frame. So please keep this trade in mind, guys, and we'll move on to our second trading opportunity. So for our second example, let's take a look at this structure. Again, we're still on pound USD and we're looking at the overall bias of the market. We can see that this is a very bullish structure. We have higher highs, higher lows being formed, and it just clearly is up. Now, what I can identify in this market structure is a very strong wick rejection with no evidence to the left as to why this rejection has been left behind. Now, you probably all know when I see this kind of evidence, what I'm looking for the market to do is come back to this level eventually to continue to collect the rest of the orders or whatever else it needs to do and then continue to push to the downside. If it doesn't do that, then what I'm going to be looking for is for the market either to break above this structure for continued buys, or I'm going to be looking for the market to make lower highs, lower lows for continued sales. So looking at the structure of this market, we are in a mini range here on the hourly time frame. So I'm going to be waiting for the break above for the buying opportunities, or we're going to be looking for the market to leave this level, come back or create lower highs. So let's continue to see what happens. We can see that the price action has broken below this structure. Now, this is a retest level in the market. It's not a single line, it's an area, so please bear that in mind. And let's continue to see what happens. So we want price to create a level. And how we're going to identify that? 
well, we're going to be looking for these wick rejections and these retests. Now, this is not how I trade in terms of taking a retest because I want to see evidence and confirmation. This one wick rejection here is not enough for me. So what I'm going to do is scale down to my lower time frames and I'm going to be looking for my patterns, which will be like double tops, double bottoms, higher lows, lower highs. And as we can see here, we have a breaker structure and a level created. So I'll work with this level now. I know that there's a this is a level of sensitivity. We can see lots of wick rejections and we can see a level where the bears are obviously in the markets. And what we need to see is the markets leave this area and come back for this retest. So let's continue on to see this. We'll just wait for price to come back to this level, whether it moves sideways, whether it goes down, makes lower lows, lower highs, whatever else it does. All we're waiting for is for the market to come back to this level to give us a reaction. So we have price come back into this level. We have a reaction now. So I'm going to take this trade with an instant execution again, stop loss above structure, just above the level here. And then again, we'll go for our one to three risk reward ratio as we do. So let's lock this in at one to three. Let's play this out and let's see what happens. So there you have it. Trade number two. Please bear this trade in mind. Very simple. As I said, we have a very overextended market here. We have a indication of bearish pressure. We got stuck in a range. We finally broke it. We created those lower highs, as I mentioned, and we took the sell. Let's move on to trade number three. So here we're going to look at trade number three. So again, on the Audi time frame, we can clearly see that the trend line to the downside was broken. The market structure is clearly making higher highs and higher lows. And we have a key level in the market where price is reacting to now. So in order for me to take a buying opportunity, I want to see price make a new higher high, break above structure. I'm looking for wick rejections, bullish candles and whatever else to continue taking these buys. So we're going to continue to watch this structure and how it's playing out. But I cannot buy this market structure at this moment in time. Because if you look to the left, price is reacting to a key level. So that means that my range is decreased, which means I'm more likely to lose this trade than I am going to win this trade because I'm not a breakout trader and I'm not waiting for price to see if we're going to break out of this level here. When I look at this level, it looks like a brick wall and that deters me from taking this trade. So we'll wait for a clean breakout to the upside or to the downside and then we'll see what happens. So price attempted to break out of this structure. It failed, and as you can see, we've just smashed the previous higher low, which clearly is indicating a reaction from this level. And also at the same time, we can see that there is a strong, there is strong bearish sentiment in the market. So for that reason, I'm going to identify this as a potential reversal in the market. So just another lesson here. And I'm simply just going to be waiting for price to come back to this level to show me a sign for a continuation to the downside. If we don't break above this level, then this is a strong sign that bears are sitting in this level and we can look for those cells. So let's just wait patiently. I'm waiting for price to come back to give me a clear indication and a reaction from this level. I want to see price pushing into this level strong and then failing to break above it. When I get this evidence, what am I going to do? I'm going to scale down to my lower time frames. I'm going to start to see how price is reacting in and around this level. We can see here that we have a level created and a very strong reaction from this level. Strong bullish pressure into this structure, failing to break above. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take this trade with an instant execution. Stop loss above structure. And then I'm going to make sure that I'm going for my one to three risk to reward ratio. So let's play this one out and let's see what happens. So strong bearish pressure to the downside, which is continuing potential lower high forming, continued sales maybe. Let's see what happens. There you go, continued sales, lower high, and then we hit take profit. So that's example number three. Please keep this one in mind and let's move on to our final example. So for our fourth and final example, let's take a look at this structure. I can clearly see that the structure of this market is now being violated by the bears. We see strong bearish sentiment in this market previously we had a trend line break on this structure we had a higher high made and a high low made and that structure was violated with strong bearish pressure beautiful retest level in the market and then as you can see here we've just had this really strong impulse move to the downside so i'm clearly looking for sales in this structure at the moment the market's in a push phase so i'm not looking to sell the market now I'm waiting for the market to pull back to create some sort of lower highs and then look for this continuation to the downside Let's see what happens with the next few candles. So we see continued bearish pressure to the downside, but we're starting to see some sort of evidence of bullish pressure here. Now, this doesn't mean anything to me because I'm looking for sales, but I'm still going to be aware of the fact that there's some sort of bullish pressure. Do I expect it? Absolutely, because if the market's going to come back to make my lower high in and around these levels here, then we need that. We need the bulls to step in. So let's see what happens. So price 
literally smashed back to the upside, which is a strong indication here of a potential reversal in the market. Look how we broke this structural low, and then we broke right back into this structure. So now what, I'm, what am I going to be looking for? Continued sales? Well, no. I'm going to be looking for the market to create a level where price is holding and then looking for some sort of potential higher low double bottom patterns. So we can see now we have two hours worth of information of price attempting to break the structure and failing. Let's get one more just to validate that. And here you have it again. Price, strong bearish pressure, failing to break this structure. So what am I going to do? I'm going to scale down to my lower time frame and I'm going to start to look for evidence of this level being held. And the patterns that I'm looking for is nice wick rejections or bullish candles to the upside. So let's see how price continues to react around this level. We can see that a level was created. Price is now respecting that level. And what we need to be doing is looking for a tradable opportunity with those wick rejections or strong candles to the upside. So we have a nice wick rejection here. We can see price attempted to break this structure, failed, closed back into this key level. I have to make sure that I can get break even by the time price gets back to this level. So let's drop in our buying opportunity and see if we can get to break even. We'll place our stop loss below the structure nicely out the way. Let's go for, let's say, six pips. Let's see if we have a one to one risk to reward ratio before we get back to this key level, which we do. We have a one to four and then let's play this trade out. So we're going with the bias that the structure is now up after that really strong impulse move um, that we previously saw on the one H time frame. We have a nice higher high created a level created in the market being respected and evidence of trying to break and failing. So let's continue to see what happens with this. We have strong bullish pressure to the upside, which we expected. And let's see if we hit take profit. Finally, we hit take profit. So as I say, we always want to make sure we can get to break even before we get to some key levels or take off profits or even close a trade, because more often than not, you're going to get these reactions. So please keep this fourth trade in mind. And let me illustrate my point. When we do this, I want you to see the trades that we've taken Okay, on this market structure. So here you can clearly see we took a buy when the market was pushing to the upside. So a trend continuation. We took a sell here when the market was to the downside. So a trend continuation. We took a sell once the market created a level, failing to make new higher highs and came back for a double top and look for that sell. And here also we took a buy once the market created a level and then showed a double bottom and continued to the upside. So being very systematic in our approach. So what am I trying to illustrate here with these four examples on pound USD? Well, the question was, what is the best time to trade? Well, here's your answer. There is no best time to trade. All the trades we just took were based on the Tokyo Open, the London Open, the New York Open and the Sydney Open. But identify one key factor here. All the trades we took were systematic as part of our plan to trade in the direction of the market and waiting for the patterns that we use with our strategy that is proven, has been back tested and has been forward tested. So is there a best time to trade? I don't believe so. I believe the best time to trade is when you have time to trade, when your trading patterns and setups develop for you to take and are in line with your trading plan. Because think of it this way, New York Stock Exchange, London Stock Exchange, Tokyo Stock Exchange, and Sydney Stock, Stock Exchange all trade in their time zones and they still make money. So don't use the best time to trade as a reason for you not to take your trading opportunities. If they develop and they come to fruition and they're part of your trading plan and the patterns are there for you, the evidence and confirmation has been solidified, then guess what? Take the trade. Because the more you focus on what is the best time to trade, guess what's going to happen? You're going to create a false expectation to be able to take trades during that session. And then guess what? You're going to end up forcing trades, taking trades you shouldn't be taking. And then eventually you're going to start getting frustrated, revenge trading, and then eventually it's going to lead to disaster. So what is the best time to trade? The best time to trade is when you can trade. Don't blame the sessions. Don't look for the holy grail. With these four examples I just showed you, we traded systematically and in line with our trading plan. And all four trades won. Granted, this was just an example, so it may not happen every time. But if the trades are there and the patterns are there for you, then take the trades. As I always say, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, take care.